Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, today we will take a look at the dollar index. Uh, I just thought that maybe it makes sense to take a look at the dollar index because on the uh, euro currency we mostly have discussed everything on Friday and within the last week, previous week because uh, mostly the long term situation hasn't changed there and uh, there were no real progress in the price action on Friday. So mostly the pattern that we have discussed, I mean the butterfly, uh, it still stands on, on the table and uh, it's really no necessity to make any update there. Uh, besides, the dollar index has really tight relations, you know, to the euro currency. It's actually, as I said, it's more than 50% of the dollar index stands beyond, belongs to uh, euro, euro, euro. And uh, they mostly show the similar reaction. That's why today we could uh, discuss all strength and weakness of the current situation uh, using the dollar index charts. But you could uh, transfer this analysis on the, on the euro currency as well. Uh, current situation is very difficult for understanding and very difficult for uh, analysis. Uh, but we will try to find some clues on what to expect and what really could, could be hidden under this uh, uh, recent upper action. So because it was not quite rational, not quite uh, normal behavior in general within the uh, three, four previous weeks. Uh, also, guys, uh, as you know, our regular readers of our forum, you know that uh, our forum members tag uh, put excellent analysis from the Elliott Wave uh, theory on the markets, and it's really very valuable. Uh, and also, he also suggests that's really a uh, difficult uh, point uh, for analysis right now on the market because it's too, mar too many uh, different uh, variants of uh, possible development, two, two different scenarios for development of the situation. Well, um, I will try to find the answers from the my point of view, so for, from the tools that I use for analysis stack, uh, as promised, to put their own update using Elliott waves in our thread. It's probably also should come on the weekend, so uh, it will be probably very interesting to read. Uh, we will start from the daily chart, guys. Uh, but first, also, I will I, I need to remind you that recall that actually the dollar index right now stands at very strong the uh, monthly support area. This is confidence support on the monthly chart. Uh, also, previously here market was also ever sold on the weekly on monthly chart. And uh, what is really interesting here is uh, a response to this area. Because previously, when the market has hit 91 area right here, it has shown very small, uh, very minor reaction on the major FIB level on the, on the monthly chart. So if we'll take a look at the monthly, I will show you. Take a look, here was major 91.14 area. And market has shown not really very impressive retracement small retracement and has dropped to the lower border of the minor level but together they are create them confidence support uh, here we see kind of the rising volatility around this level which means that bullish strength around this level probably is greater compared to what has happened here on the first reaction on this 94 area 91.14 area so, uh, rising volatility, I think that it suggests that some new, some bullish reserves, uh, some more purchasing power has come to, has come on the market to be involved in the trading and maybe some traders are waiting for this level to starting to buy the dollar around this area. So, the growing volatility for me is a sign of the strength of the level currently. But at the same time, as long as the market will stand here without any significant upward continuation, as weaker level will become. 
because it will be it will mean that uh, bulls can't break the overall situation and can't uh, force market to move in the upper direction. Its power will will is housed, uh, and uh, if no if no uh, upward direction will will happen, it will mean that it's probably downward breakout will be possible. But right now, we're still here and we're watching what will happen on the next week. Uh, technically speaking, guys, uh, here we have some bullish signs. First of all, it's Russian rings of these lows. It's almost mostly the same as we have discussed on the weekly, uh, on, on, on the euro currency last week. So here, as we can see, Russian rings. So market just grabbed stops, have been placed here, and turns up. This was a reversal session as well as on the euro currency. What's also interesting, guys, take a look here. We have a uh, very clear bullish divergence with this bottom. So with the MACD line, this is so-called... Uh, it's, it's a kind of the bullish grabber of the Jordan Apple, but some traders call it as they may see a hook. So when the lines mostly almost have crossed, uh, but then turns in the previous uh, positioning, so something of that sort here, as you can see also, it means that down, the trend will, will continue. So here, so mostly the same, and we see the upward action here. Uh, right now, market stands at, at the daily ever bond and it's formed some kind of the bearish engulfing around monthly pivot point. But I think that is not the very important in the current situation because uh, engulfing could trigger the minor retracement, but it will not mean that overall uh, bullish sentiment ha has, has been broken here. Also, we should not forget about the overall news environment. Uh, we have in statistics in uh, tokens on TV and in news right now. Right there, currently, it stands a bit uh, in advantage in the United States dollar, I think. So investors' major idea of investors right now, the markets, and we see in the comments, is that we thought that maybe dollar is not as weak as we suggested initially when we have just triggered these rallies, or maybe it's not so weak as it stands right now. So it, it, it comes some kind of reassessment of the overall situation. Recent Fed minutes also has shed some light on this uh, situation and it seems some change in the sentiment. Besides, don't forget that uh, the uh, speculative positions on the euro currency are overextended to the upside. It's mostly stand uh, highly saturated on, 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 due to the safety C report that also supports the demand for the United States dollar. So my opinion, guys, of course I could be wrong, but it seems, it seems that uh, the advantage stands slightly in favor of the United States dollar here. It's just my my personal view uh, based on the overall situation that I see here. Besides, if you take a look at the uh, intraday charts, just imagine what has happened. So here, if you remember, was just outstanding collapse. It was against the common sense. It was against the major statistics. Because recall what has happened here. Here was actually release a positive inflation data on the United States dollar. But take a look what has happened more. What has what have stand below, beyond this drop? It's currently still a riddle. So the uh, public information is that this was an uh, attempt to react on the growing budget deficit on the United States. It was announced in, this, in the, just one time. It was announced a lot of negative information on the growing debt, on the rising deficit uh, in the United States. So, and simultaneously, the jumping on the uh, Treasury bonds yields trigger some processes as in the stock market, as on the forex market. So that uh, was really very strong action that has washed out even common sense re reaction on the statistics. So it was initially to the upside, but later it has led to the collapse. Uh, but what's really interesting for me uh, is that take a look at the opposite reaction. So uh, have you seen ever... Uh, when, the, when the bears are controlled the market and the so strong collapse has happened, on the next week, you see the action to the upside that shows no even minor retracement. In an in, in, in environment when the bears, by the previous action, are controlling the market totally. How it could happen that the upward action with this after, after such collapse that has happened shows no minor retracement? What does it mean? It means that it's really significant purchasing stands beyond this rally. Uh, and the value of this strong reversal are great, is greater uh, because it, 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 it comes after really strong plunge down. 
So that's why my opinion is that uh, dollar has maybe more advantage right now compared to other currencies and um, euro in particular. Uh, so I think that uh, in one or other manner, but some leg up we should get on the common week. So how it could happen? On the hourly chart, uh, we have clear pennant pattern, guys. And uh, the pennant, as you know, but classical technical analysis, the upside continuation pattern. Uh, if you will take a look at the other currencies and markets, uh, particularly on the gold market, you will see that on the four-hour time frame chart market was, was forming on Friday reverse hand shoulders pattern. But uh, the right shoulder of this pattern has shown the inability of the price to ho go higher. This is clear signs of weakness. So even here you could see the same story. So take a look here. It's approximately you could recognize probably what I'm talking about. Just imagine that this is head and shoulders pattern. So left shoulder, hand, take a look at the shape of the right shoulder. This is definitely not the way of action that should be formed in the final third part of the hand shoulder special. Here is the bear should control the market. It needs to show some clumps here. But this is mostly indecision action, a lot of high wave patterns, sideways action. It shows inability of the market to show downward action. Uh, the same you can see on the Great British Pound, you can see on the gold market. It makes me think that in the beginning of the next week, the most probable action that we'll get will be butterfly here, guys. So it'll be upside breakout and kind of the, uh, here's will be left wing of the butterfly, so it'll be up, upward wing, right wing, and target of this action will be, uh, sorry, it's around 90, 30. And if you will take a look at the daily chart, guys, you will see that 90, 30, it's precisely the FIB level. Three at FIB level and daily. Our bottom. So this leg will be finished here in this area, and after that, some probably some retracement could start. That is what we will be watching for. So if you would like to foresee this, you could try to maybe, but uh, for me, it's more valuable the retracement that, that will happen after that. In this case, it will prove the strength of United States dollar, and in this case, we could get the deeper retracement. That actually, the, the the behavior of the price that we were waiting within the couple of weeks probably, because on this rally we were talked about the possible retracement where it will happen to take a position on the long side of the market, but we haven't got it here. Here, as the first leg the upside will be completed, some retracement, maybe some clear pattern will be formed. At the same time, if even we will see this breakout to the downside, uh, and it will not become the collapse of despair, so if you will not see this kind of action, but it will be just gradual downward action, well, guys, it also will be in our favor, because we could get kind of the ABCD passion here to the downside. That will lead us precisely the conference around 89.35, 89.40, and this in turn will give us Gardner's triple 2 pi. So it will be upward action, ABCD retracement. So it will be another opportunity to go along. Uh, that's why I'm really not really worried about the, the, the perspective of this pennant, but this will be broken to the upside or to the downside. Um, because anyway, it will give some chance for taking the position. In my opinion, currently taking in consideration the safety report, the news atmosphere that we have right now, for instance, statistics, uh, trader speech, the technical analysis, uh, what we see, for me it means that seems that to be more advantage stands in, in, in favor of United States dollar. Uh, I'm not ready to talk about this at some long-term perspective what will could happen, but in perspective of the common week within a few sessions, it seems that the, at least 90-30 area should be reached in on the next week. So let's see what will happen. Also, let's wait what Stack will say from the from the Elliott Wave analysis point of view. Uh, he promised uh, update to us in uh, weekend. So let's see.